guys and welcome to this YouTube video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a short clip from my Get to Know Your Camera course. The reason I'm doing this is to A, give you a little bit of information that is provided in the course for free, but also to give you a little bit of a taste of what my courses are like, what it's like to work with me. If you do want more information on the course, the link is in the description, so make sure you go and check that out. And if you do have any questions, just drop them in the comments here for me. So, let's get started. I just have here some example shutter speeds. Um, this is just designed to give you a starting place to what to think about when you're doing a certain type of photography, come have a look at this table to get an idea of where your shutter speed should be. So if you're wanting to stop race cars or athletes in their tracks, you're going to be want to be using very, very fast shutter speeds of 1 over 2000 or higher. Um, depends how obviously how fast they are moving. Birds in flight, you're going to again want to be using something faster than one over a thousand of a second. That again depends on the species of bird and how fast they are flying. Um, if you're getting something like uh, gymnastics and you want to stop the movement as, as they're doing their twists and turtles and whatever they're doing, you're still going to want fast shutter speeds of probably over one over 800. If you're looking at things like still life and portraits, you can start to slow your shutter speed down a little bit. So one over one two five look to one over two hundred and fifty. Landscapes again, generally you're using a tripod for landscapes, so you can start to slow that shutter speed down even more. Thinking about getting even down to one over twenty. Waterfalls, if you're wanting to get that silky effect, you want half a second to one third of a second, maybe even longer, depending on the waterfall that you're photographing. Then getting into night photography, so getting pictures of um, traffic lights and cars, like light trails of cars, those kinds of things, you're going to want between 8 seconds and 30 seconds, again, depending on the light in your environment. And if you're photographing indoors in a low light environment and you're not using a flash, then again, you're gonna to want to be using a very long shutter speed of between five and 30 seconds. Okay, so that was the clip from my Get to Know Your Camera course. I hope that you found it useful. If you did, make sure you go and check out the full course. Again, the link is in the description for that. I will also be doing some more of these videos as well, so check out the playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.